Hey, what's up? You're tuning into Jeremy's Test Kitchen, and in this episode, we're going to be making crepes, as well as two other mystery recipes that complement the crepes. Let's test your food knowledge skills and see if you can figure out the two mystery recipes' traditional names. Leave your answer in the comment section down below. The ingredients are listed in the description box. Follow along for directions. If you're not a member to this channel yet, go ahead and tap that red subscribe icon down below to help this channel grow. I'm waiting. Press subscribe. Just kidding. Let's get cooking. Okay, let's start off by making our beef stock first. Simply by rough chopping up some celery, carrots, and onions. And then smash a couple of garlic cloves and then put them into a mixing bowl. And then coat them with canola oil. Also, coat your beef bones with canola oil. And then season them with sea salt. And then lay your items onto a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. And then go ahead and put it into the oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're going to leave them in there for about 25 to 35 minutes until they're nice and roasty and toasty. While we wait for that, let's go ahead and make our crepe batter. Use a clean mixing bowl. Pour in one and a half ounces of brown clarified butter. Now I suggest you make enough of this ahead of time to be able to use for your crepe cooking process. It's very simple. Then crack open six eggs, add one teaspoon of salt, and then whisk thoroughly. Now let's add eight ounces of all-purpose flour gradually and mix, and then a little bit more and mix some more, and a little bit more and mix some more. What I'm trying to do is create a gluten chain link to help with the, the ability to stay firm and not tear so easily. Okay, now that I have achieved this, let's go ahead and thin it out with 500 milliliters of milk, like this. Gradually add it until it's smooth like heavy cream consistency. Okay, it should look like this. Go ahead and cover it with plastic wrap and then refrigerate for at least 30 minutes to an hour to allow the gluten to relax and bind. Now let's check on our beef bones and maripaw that have been roasting for the past 30 to 35 minutes. Mmm, smells delicious. Okay, transfer your stock goodies into a stock pot and then add your water, filling it up just enough to be able to submerge your stock goodies. Then add your aromatics like a few thyme sprigs and two bay leaves and some parsley sprigs. Also add your spices like black peppercorns and some nutmeg and a generous amount of sea salt to taste. Start the boiling process on high to get the rapid boiling going and then dial it back to medium temperature for the estimated time of two to three hours or longer, your choice. An hour has passed and the stock is smelling and looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and begin to cook our crepes. I have brown clarified butter in a small saucepan that we will use to coat the bottom of our crepe pans. If you do not have crepe pans, then use a non-stick frying pan or two to make the process of cooking them a lot faster. A teaspoonful of butter goes into the pan when they're nice and hot to coat the bottom. I'm using a one-third cup to ladle out my crepe batter into the pan. Move it around like this to make sure it's fully coated. It should take roughly two minutes on each side. You should begin to smell a nutty smell. That means that it's caramelizing nicely. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you. This is gonna take some time. Okay, two and a half hours has passed and it's time to strain our beef stock. Use another vessel of some sort I'm using a mixing bowl and a fine mesh strainer, also a measuring cup to gradually pour it into the bowl instead of lifting the stock pot. I find it to be much easier and safer. Okay, as you can see, our beef stock is cloudy. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to clarify this. Clean out your empty stock pot and then add your beef stock back into it. Next, let's take three eggs and a mixing bowl and separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. 
The egg whites act like a coagulant that will capture all the impurities in the stock and turn it into a clarified beef stock, or should I say the French terminology, beef consommé. Very simple, three egg whites, a couple of tablespoons of water, and a couple of sprigs of parsley to help with the structure of the egg white to create a raft for the egg whites to latch onto. Mix it up a little and then pour it into the stock and then set your temp to mid-high. As the stock starts to boil, you will see it will get really cloudy, which is good. That's the egg whites cooking and filtering. We are going to strain it one more time and you will see the difference. You see? Abracadabra, beef consomme. Can you figure out what I'm making yet? I'll give you a hint. It's a German recipe. If you can't figure it out, no worries. I will reveal the answer in the end. Okay, now last mystery recipe, which should be an easy one for you. Use a small saucepan, add one pound of organic raspberries into it, squeeze one orange for its orange juice, and then zest one orange for its zest. Add two cardamom pods, a quarter cup of granulated white sugar, and then start the reduction process by putting your temp to high. And then make a cornstarch slurry by taking one tablespoon of cornstarch in a small mixing bowl, and then two tablespoons of cold ice water. And then mix until it's dissolved, and then add it into the saucepan and let it thicken for a few minutes. And then go ahead and strain it into a clean mixing bowl. And then go ahead and add the finished product right back into the, the saucepan again to reduce a little bit more like this. And then the end the result should look like this. Okay, now it's time to plate up. So what you want to do with your crepes is take two to three crepes and stack them on top of each other and roll it up like a Swiss roll like this. And then slice it into finger width noodles like this. And then place them into a soup bowl, arranging them nicely to be pleasant to the eye. And then go ahead and garnish it with some rough chopped parsley. And if you want, totally optional, drop an egg yolk into the center for more protein richness. And there you have it. The answer to this dish, it's called flata soup. And then moving on to our dessert dish, fold two crepes into triangles like this. And then plate it. And then put your sauce onto it, which this sauce is called raspberry coulis. If you guessed them right, you deserve a pat on the back for being awesome. And that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Your engagement helps this channel grow. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and tap that bell icon for future notifications. Until next time, peace, love, and grease. This is Jeremy's Test Kitchen, signing out.